World San Diego's newest exhibit set to open this weekend. It was supposed to debut last year, but in November, the park said that the opening date is going to be pushed back to spring. But this morning, my co-anchor Jared Ahrens is going to be here joining us live. He's been there all morning. It's called the Jewels of the Sea, a jellyfish experience. And I've been enjoying so much of you taking us around to all the different areas. Well, we've seen all of the three main galleries that are open to the public at SeaWorld, but I wanted to give you guys a behind the scenes look at what it takes to make this exhibit happen. So this is the propagation lab, if you will, and I'm joined by Paige Harriman, and this is where you guys are literally growing jellyfish for this exhibit. Absolutely. So the jelly life cycle, um, adult jellies will produce gametes, which will uh, then develop into a planula. That planula will find substrate that it's happy with. It'll plant itself on there and then it'll bud out little um, baby jellies called a phyra that will grow into adult sized jellyfish and the cycle starts over. And we have that all playing out here because you can see the polyps right here that is the beginning of the life cycle and they grow. I don't even know if the camera can pick up. These are tiny, teeny, tiny little baby jellyfish that then as they grow, they get a little bigger and bigger. And you guys are doing all of this here because as we were talking about earlier, life cycle of a jellyfish, only about a year. So to keep this exhibit going, you gotta keep getting more jellies. Absolutely, so we've been propagating moon jellies for several years here in the park and we're so excited to start propagating other species of jellies. So other aquariums and zoos across the nation have kind of mastered it and are so happy to share information. So we're gonna be learning a lot about, about jellies and propagation and starting other species and we're so excited about it. And we see some of the other species here. We've got the upside down jellies over here that are part of the exhibit that you can go underneath their tank and see what they look like from the bottom up. And then one of the other tanks over here, you called those the devil moon jellies? Dwarf lion's Dwarf manes. Dwarf lion's manes. See, I'm, I'm just making up jellyfish right now. Dwarf lion's manes right over here. And you need these jellies to grow a little more to before you can put them out in the tanks. Yeah, we'll, we'll load jellies up into the tanks. It's kind of a, this is your sneak peek. So as we get closer to opening day on March 15th, we're going to be adding more and more species out into the displays. And we're so excited about it. This is really impressive to see behind the scenes. And if you want to come behind the scenes, SeaWorld is offering a way for people to do that. Absolutely. So you can schedule a behind the scenes tour where you'll, you will be led through the aquarium by an aquarist and they're going to take you to the moon jellies where you can touch them and then back into this propagation room so you can see the whole life cycle. That's a really great experience and a good opportunity. Uh, if you could give people kind of one thing to understand about jellies that you hope they take away from all of this, what would it be? They're just such a calming species to watch. So just just watching them swim is clinically proven to kind of put you in a meditative state and just relax you. So we encourage people to come watch the jellies swim and see the aquarium itself develop as we learn new species to propagate and put new species on display. So it's gonna be it's gonna be really cool to continue coming back and seeing how this exhibit grows. All right, Paige Harriman with SeaWorld, thank you so much for sharing all of that with us. Jewels of the Sea opens this Saturday to the public, and as Paige said, a very calming experience, maybe a nice break from some of the hustle and bustle of the rest of the SeaWorld Park. But it has been a lot of fun taking everyone through this morning and seeing this exhibit in person. Definitely worth checking out. Live at SeaWorld, Jared Aarons, ABC 10 News.